Yeah. I'm vlogging. Say hi. <laughs> I knew it. I knew I was like driving here and I was like vlogging. I'm like, hopefully Kim's not camera shy. <laughs> First thing. <laughs> yeah. I had to start by just brushing up her brows. And when I trim them, I am only trimming the hair one at a time. What I am not doing is holding it tight and cutting because when you let go, what happens? the skin bounces back down correct. There are some applicators that have two sides that have the flat end on both sides so you can flip it. This one has the point so you can move the wax away from the hair. Lash professional. Ken's getting some lash supplies. I have bought stuff from Estimax and uh, Skinscript. So pretty good so far. There's so many people here. It's a little overwhelming to be completely honest with you, but so far I've spent 200 bucks, which is not too bad. Kind of like my goal to spend today. Things that I needed for, you know, my clients and such. So, yeah, just giving you a little update. Go ahead, I'm recording. I'm out of the convention. We took a class from 3.45 to like 5.10 p.m. And I did a recording there because I was honestly just learning everything. 
but it was actually really nice to learn about peels because just FYI at school we didn't learn about chemical peels which kind of sucks and I don't know why we weren't taught that but whatever I'm actually interested in taking a course so I can offer peels too yeah it was really fun super exhausting overwhelming so many booths so many companies that were there it's just so hard to like you know see everything but i am just so grateful because the money that i had to spend today is from the facials that i had been doing and i'm just so grateful for everybody who has come in yeah i just wanted to just give that little shout out that's the end of day one tomorrow is day two of the convention i have a couple of classes that i will want to attend and also I'm gonna buy some more things, so I'll keep you posted. Hello and good morning. Today is day two of the <clears throat> International Congress of Aesthetics and Spa. I'm wearing my Bonita shirt, jeans, I'm not sure, and my ultra boots again. I post a picture of my outfit yesterday. It was from all the thrift store. The ASOS shirt was from Goodwill and the Gap jeans, probably like a $15 outfit right there. And of course my ultra boost, so yes, yeah, going comfortable. Yeah. Alright, I'm here at Bio Friends getting some snow globes. They are 35 bucks each. I'm getting the pink ones for my facial treatment. Um, these are more smaller, more cool for like the under eyes. 35 bucks. And I'm also getting a tea tree mask from here, which I'm super excited. I'm gonna try some wax from Beauty Image. Is he ready? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. The same way that you apply your hair, your hair goes like this with the wax. Yeah. I don't, my hair's not that long, but look. I do have hair. My hair's short, but yeah. Girl, he's hot. Got all my stuff in one bag. Again, what another successful day. I went over budget, but it's all for good purpose. Got myself one thing, but everything else is just for like clientele base. So I'm gonna show you everything I got when I get home. What's up y'all? Today is Friday the 13th. Wow, that sounds freaky. Oh, it's Friday the 13th. I forgot to, I honestly forgot to film a video of my haul. Like I literally got home from the convention. I like um, helped out my grandparents for a bit and I went to go see my mom and watch a Raider game. So I'm like spending family time, I guess. And then I had to like work and you know, just things just happened. I went to a soccer game, but yeah. Anyways, um, I'm here to share with you the things I bought at the actual convention. I feel like it's not a lot, but it probably is to some of you. I mean, I did go just for esthetician stuff. So if you're not interested in esthetician stuff, then you probably might not like this video. As I was saying. Um, I went to SkinScript, which is a professional skincare line, which I have been using. I bought their like little sample pack and I've been using it on my clients, which works really, really nice. I see results like that day of um it just kind of just really exfoliates our skin really well so they had this little like toasted coconut set which is a coffee bean mask and a coconut papaya enzyme so this little duo here i will be offering in my treatment room which we are currently in purchased their seaweed mask which is amazing for dry skin this also has chamomile so this will also calm down your skin um so if someone has like a lot of redness i will use this on them i use this on my boyfriend a lot because he is super dry and he his skin just really likes this so also i bought their charcoal refining mask which has a uh, candlein and i use this on my clients who are very oily acne prone skin i noticed that this like really detoxifies your skin it just like makes it more, um, it doesn't take away oil necessarily, but it just kind of calms down the skin after doing extractions and like exfoliating and stuff. So I really like this mask to kind of just pull all the toxins out. I did also buy their raspberry peach enzyme, which is also really gentle for all skin types, very great for pretty much 
anyone, even my pregnant clients. So really been enjoying this one and the coconut papaya one, which works really nice too. So this just has like a really nice fruity smell, like sitting on the floor. And I also purchased this the next day, which was day two of the convention. I forgot to buy it that day I was there. But they shipped it out super, super quick, which I was pretty impressed with and happy with. But I do have the little like sample sizes of these three. And I really, really like the cleansers. They work amazing for the skin. They're not too foamy, which is something that you need in a cleanser. And it's the pomegranate antioxidant cleanser. Um, this is the glycolic cleanser, which has a lot of other acids in it. I also have a green tea citrus cleanser, which I really, really like for all of my skin types, all my oily skin types. So that's all from SkinScript. I went to this place. I don't remember the name. Unfortunately, it's not even on the receipt, but they just had like um, supplies. So I purchased a uh, comedone extractor, which was I think like four bucks. And I also got some like more of um, these fan brushes that I needed for like to apply masks and enzymes. And I really like that they're all clear and they're super cute, super like very flexible. I don't know, if you've seen my videos on Instagram, you can see what I do sometimes. These um, these were $3 each, so three, six, nine, twelve, 12, and then these were like three bucks. No, these were like two bucks, so um, that's what I got there. Don't remember the name, so I'm sorry. I did stop at the Lira booth, and because they didn't have their stuff there, it was kind of like place an order, and then you get it in the mail, so I'm still waiting for that. I'll post a picture of what I purchased. It's basically an SPF. I tested it out there and tried it on my skin. It worked amazing. I really liked the texture of it. It wasn't too oily or too greasy. They had one for, um, they had an oil-free one and a hydrating one, which I did get both, and I got one for myself personally because I'm running out of my SPF, so super excited. So they did give me like this little baggie with a, a lanyard and a cup or bottle, water, water bottle, so super cute and just gave me like a professional guide, so. And I did stop at Cyan Skincare, which I only, got three things however two of the things are for my friend wendy she asked me to get her um these globes and i got myself a pair as well i don't want to take them out because these are hers so i'm gonna place these here but um i did notice that my globe one of them is it looks old and i purchased them in the past before and it didn't look like this i didn't realize it until afterwards but Call me crazy am i am i not crazy because one is more like clear than the other see this one looks really old and i emailed them about it and the girl explained to me in the email that apparently like the way it's made something it makes it matte so i have no idea it's kind of weird because clearly like there's a there's a clear difference so um hopefully they send me just one because, you know, it just kind of sucks that I have like a ugly, you know, just one in the treatment room. And you can tell in this one, like, it's not as, I don't want to take it out of the bubble wrap, but you could tell it's not like that. So that's what I got at Sion. Okay, and then I did go to SMX, which their booth was pretty popping. So this is what the bag looks like. I like the bags because we can reuse them here for groceries and stuff. So my friend Kim and I, we actually spent 200 bucks here because they're having a promotion. If you buy four masks, you get the fifth free. No, you buy five masks. Five. If you buy five masks, you get the fifth, the sixth free. So we got three and three. Which I thought was a good deal. We kind of saved each 20 bucks. So yeah, I got the Sika Complexion Care. Um, hydro jelly mask. I got the intensive aftercare hydro jelly mask, which is my absolute favorite. I love this for pretty much any skin type. Um, whoever has like really a lot of redness after extractions or anything, I'll put this on and I'll calm it down. That's like the third time I purchased that one. And then I also got the Australian sheet mask placenta hydro jelly. And I just got this because it looks really cool. Like when you take a video, it's like glittery. But there's also benefits to it as well. I don't have a little pamphlet with me right now, but yeah, that's 
also what I got. They were giving out this huge like flash bomb bag, which went out so fast. Tim and I actually like were walking around the first day, kind of just checking out every booth. And we came across Beauty Image and we tried their wax, which you did see in the vlog. And I ended up purchasing the champagne fraises, champagne strawberries. But it's supposed to be like good for sensitive skin and it smells amazing. And I can't wait to use this because I'm going to be offering uh, waxing pretty soon. I'm just going to buy a wax warmer. So they're actually kind of expensive at the show. I actually found a lot of like wax warmers that were cheaper online. So that was 18 bucks and it was, and this is two pounds. And I went to this place called Estevita. I read the name here. I can't pronounce it for some, I don't know. I'm just like weirdo, but I got these, they're cuticle sticks, but I'm gonna try to do, again, waxing and do brows because we did see Kelly Baker, which was honestly really cool to see. Super packed, like people were standing on the sides because it was just amazing, but she did such an amazing job. I mean, she's like the goddess of brows, so like, come on. You know, but I ended up getting these little sticks so I can practice on someone. Um, I don't know who's going to be willing to get, offer their brows to me, but yeah. Um, I also got this little mixing bowl for my hydro jelly masks. I have some already. They're plastic. They're a little bit rubbery, but I just don't like the way it feels for some reason. I just prefer like a stainless steel one. got some more of my high frequency um, gauzes because I do use high frequency on people sometimes. And I did get these little bowl sets which was $2 for three. They're super, super tiny. On Amazon, I tried looking for these like literally everywhere and I could not find them. Place called J and I, I guess. I was needing a massage cream because I'm running low on my dermatological one. So I saw this one, I tested it out, checked the ingredients, not too bad. And this was $24 pretty pricey but the girl was telling me she's like you only need a little bit a little goes a long way it's like pretty slippery and glidey so I was like playing with it like making sure like it's gonna last throughout my massage portion of the um, facial but also purchased another set of jelly bowls because one is like not enough this is from bio France lab um, they're yellow I actually purchased the pink ones first and then I changed my mind of course because that's the type of person I am. I'm always like changing my mind, but they look like this. Super cool. Can't wait to use these. And then one more place that I stopped to. This is called My Skin & Co. This is, holy smoly. They gave me a lot of samples. I didn't even realize that. Look, look at it's a ton of those little baby ones. Dr. Cam was telling me that you can use this after you wax someone. And it has, it's basically an organic tea tree like balm again for like uh, my brow clients or just waxing services in general i'm going to be using this i got a little one to try it out so hopefully i do like it but that's pretty much it everything else that's in here is all pamphlets and just paper that's end up my little haul and vlog i hope you enjoyed watching this if you enjoyed this video and you liked it you can give me a little like and if you are not subscribed go ahead and subscribe it's totally free and if you're not following me on my social media i have my instagram handle somewhere here 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 or here i'm pretty active on there but as always thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and staying till the end i'll catch you in the next one toodles